So in this video, we're gonna show you how we pour and stamp a concrete patio in the backyard. And if you're wondering what this is gonna look like, it's gonna look like this when we're all done. So the first thing we do is, you know, we had to come here and form this up. We had to put styrofoam down. The subgrade, the sub base was, was the gravel was already in place and leveled. So we just had to come in, put up the styrofoam, put up the forms and you know shoot our grades put in our pins and get this all ready put the wire mesh down that was the first thing we did a day we did this in the previous day that'll be on a on my training video too if you want to check that out how we form this all up how we got it ready and then how we uh how we finish this off but you're going to get to see us pouring and stamping this in this video here so what we're doing right now is we're using a 4,000 PSI concrete and I like to use the like what's called like a P stone, a 3 8 stone in the mix. I like stamping a smaller rock versus using the standard 3 quarter inch stone. You can see the guys pulling up on the wire right there. And uh, that just makes the stamping go a little bit easier in my opinion. So we always use this little bit smaller P stone rock in our mixes. We always use a 4,000 PSI. And if you guys are wondering why there's styrofoam underneath this, you know, we live in Maine. So from about, you know, the end of November, 1st of December until March, we get a lot of freezing temperatures, you know, temperatures that go above and below freezing. So the styrofoam helps keep the frost from getting under the slab and lifting the slab up. So that's why we put styrofoam under a lot of our exterior concrete up this way. So we got, you know, the slab poured in there most of it anyway this was about five and a half six yards of concrete we got microfiber mesh in it also and we also put air entrainment in our concrete up here our exterior concrete and that helps with the freeze and thaw cycles too um, the air allows moisture to get into the concrete and freeze and expand without popping the concrete you can see Darren and Luca getting the concrete screeded and getting it leveled this this patio slab it sloped away from the building about an inch and a half you know and that's about 11 to 12 feet right there wide it's about 30 feet long total so we got a little bit of a slope on it and uh, the guys are finishing up screeding it and I'm bull floating it and whenever we we bull float concrete that's going to be stamped you know we try to get it as smooth as possible with the bull float not leave a lot of big lines now we're going to end up getting back on this and mag floating it out before we stamp it but still the smoother you can get it with the bull float you know and you can even use a like a funny float a mag afterwards and we're just uh, getting the surface as smooth as we possibly can before we get back on it to stop finishing it just makes the whole job a little bit easier see Darren's coming back around magging out my bull float lines it's kind of windy up here today too you'll be able to see in the video how the winds kind of blowing that plastic but it didn't really affect the finishing of the surface too much. You can see me on there. So I'm mag floating out the surface. I got it almost done. Getting on my knee boards and my skids. And uh, let me know down in the comments how many of you guys are thinking of putting in a backyard patio slab like this. Or if you've already done one just recently, let me know that down in the comments. And, and where, if you did, you know, where are you from and if you stamped it or not. Did you stamp it? Did you broom finish it? Let me know down in the comments. So Darren's getting on a little bit of the release powder. Most of the stamp jobs we do, we use a like a dry release powder on it, and then we come back and wash that off. We're also using an Ashler slate stamp here on this one. So we're we're laying the stamps down, and they all kind of connect together a certain way. So we're making sure they're all in the same pattern, and we'll get them all down get them across the slab usually we you know there's about 11 of them that come in a set this set has about 11 and then we'll start tamping them and just keep moving them forward this actually dried really well for us today the concrete it's a little it was a little chilly out and the concrete company had like a hundred degree water which is basically just warm water for concrete so the concrete was a little bit warm today and that helped it set up a little bit so it made the, the process go a little bit easier for us as you can see we got sweatshirts on so it was a little chilly up here we're on a lake too so that made it a little bit colder 
Do you guys, how many of you guys watch and do stamp concrete? Do you stamp concrete? Do you use the dry release powder like we do? Or do you like the liquid release powder? Which one do you like better? Sometimes, you know, we use both. Mostly probably the dry release powder. And that, what that does is it leaves a, like a secondary color in the concrete. So we, we added an integral color in the concrete. We added some dark gray. And then we're using this black release, so it gives the it gives the stamp concrete a, like a two-tone antiqueish type look when we're done washing it and sealing it. You can see how we're kind of doing things here. I'm I'm doing most of them up against the building, so I'm concentrating on that part of it. Darren is kind of doing the stamping and the tamping in the middle, and Luke's taking care of that outside edge. And when you've got a team of three guys doing it like that, things move along pretty quick. You can do quite a bit of area when, you know, everybody knows their part and knows what they're doing. When you don't, you know, if you only got two guys or only one guy that knows what he's doing and two people that don't, then, you know, you don't want to tackle too much of an area at a time. This type of stamp, this Astro Slate stamp, you know, it's got a pretty deep groove in it, so you don't want to wait too long until you get on the concrete. I've got, I've actually got a stamp concrete course that's down in the description, guys, where I teach you, you know, the timing of when to get on it. And that's also in my, my private training, the Concrete Underground, which is down in the description, too, if you want to check that out. You can see how we're moving along. You know, Luke's got all those columns to go around. They're kind of they're kind of wrapping the stamps around those columns to get the, the good texture around there and get the groove lines in there. And I'm I'm wrapping stamps up the flexible stamp up the building to do the stones that are up against the building. And then we're just touching them up with our touch-up tools to make sure all the grooves went in really nice. And this is me. I came back a couple days later. I let it set up for a couple days and I came back and now I'm washing the release powder off. I've got a pressure washer here I'm using and I used, uh, I, I didn't show you this part, but I used Dawn dish detergent with a scrub brush and I kind of just dumped it all over the slab and I scrubbed the, the soapy water around. You can see me rinsing a little bit of it off there and that cleans off most of the release powder. All that stuff, all that training is in those videos I talked about earlier down below if you want to check them out and learn how to do that so we'll we'll wash this off and we'll give it a day or two to dry up and then we'll come back and put the seal on it that's the normal process for us but this is basically what it looks like when we're done let me know if you like it guys give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of stuff hey everybody mike here we just finished up this stamp concrete patio on this new home here up on uh, Mesolonsky Lake in Oakland, Maine. So I just got it all washed today and cleaned. Got it sawed. See a saw cut right there. Now we just gotta let it dry out so we can put the sealer on it. So we'll have to give it a few days. It's raining here today, but this is it.